Bob Lee here. Uh, the past couple of weeks, I've been kind of under the weather, and I'm starting to finally feel like myself again. Uh, I was in the hospital for six, seven hours. <laughs> I have a small condition called diverticulitis, and uh, when it flares up, it puts me down pretty hard, and then it takes me almost a week and a half to come back from it. But I want to thank all the well-wishers that I had on my Facebook page. Well appreciated. Uh, but today, or during that period of time, I couldn't really do a whole lot in the shop. But the days that I did feel like doing something, I came down here and I made myself one hell of a mess. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to get this big, but when you, when you have time and you just putter, it's amazing what you can get into. Uh, my storage, uh, the nuts and the bolts and the screws, has always been a problem for me. The backer board on my tool bench uh, is made out of pegboard. And I've had just isn't my uh, best thing and I've seen so many people making new backer boards and I'll, really all I'm going to do is go up over top of my pegboard and with a piece of 5 8 ply so that I have something more to mount to. Okay this is how I get my sheet goods home from the big box store with my little uh, pickup truck. <laughs> uh, this is my little trailer that I use for transporting sheet goods. I built this trailer when I was 19, and I'm 62 now. <laughs> Let you do the math. But I break down all my sheet goods outside. To be able to get them into my shop, My I have to go down the basement back staircase. So it's easier for me to break down my sheet goods outside and get them into the size that I need so that I can handle them easier going down the steps. This particular piece of plywood is for shop use, so I didn't have to get out the guide and all that for this. It's just going to be a backer board for my workbench tool wall. Okay, those for who were wondering, this is really the back of my house. So it's kind of quite, uh, quite tight quarters back here. And this is the way into my back of my house. It's through this basement door. Now, I hit a landing, and that part goes up into my house, and this is how I go down into my shop, down this short set of steps, and you can see how the layout kind of works. So it is kind of tight, so when you see me, you'll have some kind of idea of what I deal with. Okay, this is what I've got so far. I've got it a nice wall to begin with. I've got it framed in a little bit, just a little window dressing. Uh, this thing here, I'm going to pull out, because uh, remember, I am an electrician, so I know it's available, and then I'm going to trim it in, and that way it'll be flush here. But this will all look real nice, and now this gives me a solid back where I can make my own little... Uh, holders, little shelves, or anything that I want to be able to mount screwdrivers and 
uh, hammers and that type of thing. But I needed a good base to start with. Well, I have that now. So I'm going to just kind of make this look uh, a lot more efficient and uh, a little nicer for myself down here. Because I didn't like the pegboard, but this I do like now. I want to thank all my subscribers. Uh, without them, this wouldn't be any fun. So, if you like what you see, please subscribe.